Well, I had to call the police again. I heard uh, a window break. I thought it was my bloody car. I'm so happy it wasn't, but I'm not happy it's the uh, elderly lady uh, next door to my house. Hi, Bruce Schwartz here. Thanks so much, everyone, for the ongoing support. Could ice be forming around craters on the moon due to the climate change? Is there a shift in the weather on the moon as um, the Arctic is melting here? Can we possibly see some of that happening on the moon and uh, why am i showing theophilus right there um, on the french channel or maybe here but it's a french person in the community that told me uh, they're talking about mysterious ice as we've heard before patches but near theophilus that would have appeared suddenly so is there a massive thawing process or something going on up there on the moon again this is just speculative or theoretical but so interesting and is that why the surface is so reflectively blinding. Could that be? And <laughs> the patches that I'm showing you over top of um, some of these platform-like symmetrical objects, could it be some of the patches of ice that NASA is talking about? Maybe something major is going on up there on the moon. Maybe some major shift or change that we're uh, feeling here on Earth would also be felt possibly um, on the moon. Why not? Our geocorona of Earth extends uh, the far reaches of the moon itself. So here's a far-fetched theory. Could we be looking at frozen cities under an ocean of frozen ice? that has accumulated with the climate change and the melting over the years, maybe say no, or check it out. Is it the camouflage? I posted this on the French channel yesterday. It's the back of sinus iridum, but I said, I'm sure as hell going to post it on Bruce C's all because this was not posted here. This transferring that I just did here, look at the surface. So all that light, all that color that you're seeing right there and all the power sources and energy sources or lights that are inside of that is what's being hidden by this whatever, maybe a force field. I'll tell you what, it's unnatural and it's not the sun that's reflecting on this area. And if it is, well, it's one heck of a reflective area, but the structuring that's there, that's what gets to me. You want to see UFOs flying around, ladies and gentlemen? This is an amazing shot. We're so close. Say to yourself that light you see up there, that whatever, highway tube with cars in it, uh, whatever it may be. Look at the UFOs. Look at the flashing lights. They're leaving the surface or it's flashing lights on the surface of whatever is down there. And again, I've been lingering on the fact of transportation um, talking about the transportation how they're getting around are you seeing it it's beautiful it's they really are flashes of light people are saying oh well wow i got a flash of light on the moon well yeah look at the red spot watch it glow and then go down and we see lights running all along a crater's edge and keep looking underneath in the red and the darkness left and right it's so easy to see they're flashing left and right and when those lights appear you can see them right there and when they appear look at how red the surface and everything they're so bright so whatever it is it's proof it's activity it's extraterrestrial or human life down there uh, on the surface so people ask me how are they eating well <laughs> if they're there they definitely are doing just like we're doing, probably eating the vegetation and animals on the moon. A red light that lights up intensely and then goes out. You can clearly see and watch this. You think that's just flashing lights or pixels? No. I'll show you a few of them leaving. There's one frame. Watch it reappear there. And it took off to the right, but watch, I'll show you some. At one point, you will see one clearly traveling across the surface. That's what they're doing, and they're taking off. There's two spots there light up, and you see it leaving to the right. One spot here, down to there. You could clearly see the surface of the moon has these UFOs. Look at the colors. Wow, green, because that's how I see them on the surface, and then red, and then yellow when they really take off. All the colors of Google. <laughs> Let's take a look, and when I say take a look, we're going to plunge inside of the cloud like you guys hate. I love every time. That's what I do. But I haven't done it yet with this. We're also going to see uh, after this music and this 
I'm telling you, spectacular close-ups. We're going to go see, uh, somebody asked me three or four times, how do you know when the telescope is out of focus? What is the, the black dot that everyone talks about in the center of the image? And I'm going to show it live and explain it. It's really simple. You have to bring the telescope and the image to its smallest point to get its clearest. So take a look at this as we advance and watch the magnificent new spectacular views of this object. I can watch it for hours. It's like a piece of popcorn that never wants to pop, right? Just moving around like a ghost. And notice you will always see that there's a tower standing on this thing. It looks like a platform or something. It's oscillating because of the disturbance between us and that object in the distance. So enjoy. This is what it looks like when you're out of focus. A big dark circle will appear in the center of your image of your telescope and will always be in the center of, you know, the star. So I'm pulling out the star and making it look like it's some kind of crap, but in reality, it's not. It's out of focus. You have, you want to see a real craft like this or a capture like that? You can go to UF of Knee 2012 and he caught something flying by of that shape, but I here uh, did not. This is to show you it's out of focus and then to bring it back to its smallest point the black spot will disappear and thus showing a clear star or image with a telescope. Thank you to all patrons and of course all 
every contributor and for everyone being here. I love you guys. More on the way. For whatever the reason you'd like to send me something, here is my mailing address. Houston, say again, please.